pairs edge ahead after Libby 100. After letting the game slip against Warwickshire last time out, Nottinghamshire travelled to New Road to face the Worcestershire side fresh off the back of a decent escape against Derbyshire. That left both hunting their first win of the season. The pairs enjoyed a good start to the morning. With bat in hand, boundaries from Jake Libby quickly took the score up towards 50. They'd brought that figure up after an hour of play and showed no signs of slowing. Libby climbed into the bowling of Patterson White to clear the ropes and take his side towards three figures as the session wound towards lunch. The aggressive hitting took Libby to 50 and his side to 100. The morning belonged to the pairs. It was a fantastic start for Worcestershire. They kept ploughing on, knots unable to find any joy. By the time the pair had reached lunch, the score was 122 for none and Mitchell was on the verge of joining his colleague on a half century. He found his way to his half century soon after the resumption, the pair's fine morning continuing into the afternoon. But Mitchell's knock couldn't get much further. Knotts finally had something to shout about when Fletcher found the edge. And they built on their early breakthrough. Fell then fell to Chapel, out LBW for one. The 150 came soon after, Libby still going, now joined by Roderick. His stay would end up being a brief one, the wickets continuing to be shared. Patterson this time feeding Moores behind the stumps. Some hesitation from Dolivera was enough to give Luke Fletcher the opportunity, his arm solid and accurate, run out for three. Libby was unmoved, his fine innings was the backbone for Worcestershire and once again his hard work was rewarded, 100 runs scored off 188 deliveries. The 200 was next, the pairs keeping the scoreboard ticking over. But with T fast approaching, Patterson White found space between bat and pad to bowl the dangerous vessels, leaving the score at the interval 210 for 5. Libby fell at the resumption, Fletcher again striking to remove the leading pair's man, out for 117. Cox followed without troubling the scorers, out LBW to Patterson White. But Barnard and Joseph stopped the rot and they began to reply in kind, taking the Nottinghamshire bowlers on and building towards 250. The partnership was soon worth 50. The lower order pair was frustrating the visitors when it looked like they were surging back into the game. Joseph took on the bowling of Luke Fletcher, who disappeared back over his own head, with the score now moving up towards 300. All of Knott's momentum had dried up and by the time they reached the end of the day, both men were in the 40s and the score was 305 for 7. The visitors had work to do with the ball in the morning.